Alrighty, knuckleheads. You ever get the feeling that timing is everything? What are you talking about, grumpy grandpa? What do you mean, timing is everything? Let's just look how this whole 2020 has gone down. You know, we got... Oh my goodness, we got... Oh, first, you know, back in 2016, Trump gets elected. They try for three years to get him out. Impeachment fails. Can't do it. They can't get him out of office. So then they're in panic mode. Man, they cannot let this guy get elected again for four more years. That's not part of the the uh, deep state's plan. They're talking, you know, you have articles out about the Great Reset and how we're not going to own anything, no personal property, uh, fossil fuels gone, global warming. They're going to push that. All that stuff, it was a whole web page up there about the Great Reset. Mm, funny, it's down now. Timing. Timing is everything. So, come 2020, it's crunch time. Impeachment fails. Right after the impeachment, boom, we've got the CV. The CV comes out. Perfect timing right after the failed impeachment. And... Boy, I, I got to give the deep state credit. That was genius. That has really stopped the Trump economy. Got the uh, blanketed mail-in ballots. You don't even need a signature or anything on. They can run them through the machines a thousand times. You got all that. You got all that going on. It was brilliant. I got kudos. Game of chess. That was a good one, deep state. So you had the that and then you know right before the cv you had a bg bill i i won't say his last name his foundation was running a, a uh, scenario of what a uh, covid outbreak would look like element or element 201 or something like that hey, go look it up it's it's amazing that came out three months before this and it pretty much laid down what would happen, what did happen. You know, timing is everything. Then you had Dr. Fauci. He come out and he says, oh, you know, Trump will encounter a pandemic in his time. Like the guy can see the future. Like timing is everything. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, we all knew. With all the uh, jazz going on, Trump would win election night. He does. It's a no-brainer. What happens? The, you know, a pipe breaks. You know, we got to stop counting over there. And meanwhile, they stopped counting everywhere. Never has been done before. I just stopped counting. Everybody go home, except for some people. Timing is everything. Come back in. Couple hours later, Trump's lead in four or five states is gone. Hmm, nothing to look at there. You know, it's not. You know, and then we got all these people coming out, writing affidavits saying that the election, you know, they saw nefarious stuff going on everywhere. But you know, the media and everybody, they're they're writing that off as yeah, there's yeah, there's no evidence, no evidence, no evidence, and but there's tons of evidence, and I think the deep state in this chess match, I think they're a little bit behind right now. Things aren't looking good. It looks like the evidence is there. Things are getting crazy. So, I think they're in desperation mode right now. So, you know what happens the other day? Let's take a look at that. Uh. This AT&T building here, and you can clearly see a hole in the ground. So it's probably parked in that hole in the ground and that big black spot on the building. It's probably parked right over that right there. That's why two holes were blown down into the, the basement area of that place and in there. Weird, huh? In the, in the media, they don't know nothing about this guy. It's like, you know, he worked for the CIA or FBI or something, man. He is like, got no information. They don't even have a picture of him yet, I don't think. Maybe they do. 
but they don't know. I mean, I've seen the news crews work before, and the news crews, they would have, first thing they would do is bring in their crews, tons of crews, and they would tell them, look, you go out and you find a neighbor. You speak to the parents. You find out a friend, where he went to school, what he does for a living. Man, a couple hours, they would know a lot about this guy. It's two days later, and they barely know nothing. I think they came out today, and somebody said that he was an internet guy. Hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's all they got so far, is that he was an internet guy. I mean, the neighbors, they haven't had any... I haven't heard the neighbors talk about the guy or anything like that. So very... Man, it's just timing is everything. This, this uh, thing that went down right here... Timing is everything. It's they don't they you know the guy they they scared off everybody so nobody would get hurt. I don't think the guy had an issue with you know they're gonna push the I, I heard that they're trying to push maybe that maybe there's no evidence that maybe he was you know scared of the five G. Well, if the guy's an electronics guy and an internet guy. Then he knows that the 5G is... I'm an electronics guy. 5G, I, I don't believe, is anything. It's just a frequency, people. It's nothing... Nothing to really... It's not even a frequency. It's nothing. You know, I'm not a big 5G or people are freaking out about 5G. I, I think that's... That's nothing. But... I, mean, I could be wrong about that, too. But... So... The media hasn't said anything. It's like they're waiting for a narrative to be told to run with. It's like, everybody be quiet. You know, because timing is everything. This explosion is, uh, timing was everything. It's just too coincidental. And, you know, it's right before January 6th. Who knows what that guy knew or was a part of. We might never, we might never find out what he was a part of or what he knew. Just my, I'm not going to believe anything that the the media tells me pretty much on this guy because I don't believe the media at all. It's not like <laughs> I ran straight to, uh, ran straight to CBS or ABC or CNN or MSNBC to find out the details on this thing, <laughs> you know. We used to. We used to all run to those channels to find out what's going on. Now, we don't run to those channels anymore. I run to the internet and start trying to find out information on stuff because the internet is uh, doing the deep down investigating and stuff that the uh, media used to do. And you could trust back in the day. Well, you can't trust it anymore. Well, that's all this video is. Uh, you know, I just wanted to come out with a video. I haven't been in the Freedom Room here for a while. It's just, you know, timing is everything. Look at everything that went down this year and when it took place and what is happening. And we all can sit there and think, you know, it's all, it's all just a great coincidence or, you know, this stuff is all planned along. And uh, there's a big, deep battle going between two people. And they're, uh, they're duking it out right now. And we'll just have to see what information we find, the truth. Hopefully the truth comes out and we find out some more stuff. And let's just strap in and go for a ride here. People get the popcorn out and we soon will find out if we're gonna know what really happened or not or if it's gonna be like all the other stuff that gets buried for 40 years and you can't you know it's uh not revealed can't look at it uh that information is all encapsulated for later on and after some people die then we might find out what happened kind of a thing but hopefully we find out here in the next week or two what's really going on well on that note knuckleheads like i say every video timing is everything